Okay, so the puppy situation <laughs> has gotten to the point where like they're starting to shit solids now. Well, not even solids. It's like, you know, they're not eating solids. So it's like <sighs> 10 little shit machines shitting out freaking diarrhea. So what was that? Okay. Um, I saw a reflection, but it was me. <laughs> um, they're hungry, but but what I'm doing is I'm moving them into the smaller room, and I'll show the smaller room that before it's like finished. And I've never done anything like this before, but basically, what's going on? Uh, okay, so this is basically like my little what I just bought for my little project. So I'm gonna take the tarp. I'm going to lay it completely down, I'm going to tape it to the walls, and I don't care about paint peeling off because the walls are, like, look at that, that's not, who cares. And, uh, so I'm going to duct tape the tarp down, put the cedar chips down, which is also good and beneficial for the puppies because a couple of them, I saw a couple of fleas on them, and Cuzzle doesn't have fleas, so I don't really know exactly where the fleas came from. But before I put them into the new room, I'm going to baby wipe wash each one because I gave one a bath the other day, but it's going to be really hard to give 10 puppies a bath and it's nighttime, it's a little cold, but I, they need to be wiped off. And then um, I got the mop bucket to clean the room they're currently in with bleach and stuff. It'd be funny if I got this to wipe them down with. But yeah, oh, then I got them a little egg toy. And it's not the funny, oh, Cuthla. Cuthla here, this little thought of a dog, brought home this guy, who's super sweet. We let him sleep over last night, but it's really cold outside, and he was whining at the door, so we let him back in. I think the biggest mistake is, like, we put a collar on him. Huh, Eddie. Oh, and we're calling him Eddie. But look at him, he's so sweet. I'm so sweet. I know. Oh, Cuthla, you got a good boyfriend. Eli. I don't know where Eli went. He's a good boy, Eddie. Okay, so this is the room. You can see why this is like perfect because it's tiny. And for the most part, a lot of it should fit. Um, I can't keep this door in here though because they're not going to keep it closed. But you see how there's a hole, like not a hole, but a door piece is, it's not a door piece, it's like a, just like for looks, it's out of place. This doesn't shut. So I'm hoping to get the tarp more on this side to where I can tape it up to where they can't get Well, this spare door kind of like solved that problem. It just, it can't get in, but I can't take this off because it's been painted over and I don't have the tools or patience to try. So how about we just duct tape the door closed? Well, you wanna live in here too? And see, these walls aren't that great looking, so yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> Basically, a, a giant litter box, and to sift it, what I'm gonna do is when we lived in Tacoma, you know, there's a poop poop scoop law, but here there's not anywhere I can take her in public, like a public park. There's one park in town, and there's no dogs allowed, which is <laughs> kind of stupid. So like, we go to Shiloh, and of course I take a donkey back to there, but she normally just goes poop before we leave. So I have like probably like 930 of those left and it was a thousand quantity box and uh you like it out but yeah so i'm gonna pick up the poo with that and then as far as the pee goes i'm gonna i can do the same thing and then i'll just buy another bag of cedar just kind of like put over it because we got four more weeks with them but they are starting to scratch on the door more which another thing is why i want to put it back in this room is the door's already fucked up so it's like whatever but yeah I'm, I'm a little too excited but i got a six pack of beer because i'm gonna be dude i'm gonna make you live with the puppies eli he's gonna try to go away too knowing eli he'll find a way though but yeah let's see how this goes all right quick update um nine by i think eight feet of this is is what the, what is, i don't know um it's a lot bigger than i thought it's bigger than the room itself which is amazing because this is how far up i'm able to go right here also <laughs> i obviously don't know how to tape in a straight line but i think for the most part we're just gonna go beep, and i am gonna tape that door down i was gonna go like this to kind of make a barrier but the door opens this way so I can't do that. And there's no way this door is remaining open permanently because fuck that. All right, so I got it down. 
I've only drank two beers, so that's good. I got really into it, and I got really focused, and then, yeah, so here's the magic. Okay, let me get step out. So that's how it kind of went down. It actually kind of like, it's like a, a whelping box slash a giant cat litter box. So, again, I'm not great with the straight line. And it's also hard to like straighten out a bunch of tarp or, uh, yeah, I just call it tarp. But you see how it started? I, I did that on purpose to start slanting it down so I can close the door. And then I even still taped it because I just kind of cut it. And yeah. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going, so this one still needs a single layer, but I'm going to go all the way around and double tape it. Um, puppies, they're pretty small, they're four weeks old, so they don't weigh too much. So they shouldn't be like, he unless they all bundle up right here, then I'm going to be really mad. But yeah, so this is kind of what it looks like before I put in the cedar. I think it turned out pretty decent. Uh because in my mind, like the vision I had was just getting some tarp and then like flat tape like just straight flat down taping it um but this was actually because i i knew the tarp would probably have some longer sides i was gonna like tuck them under and like just you know like a straight just straight down but this is i like this better because when it comes to the time i could just like completely like remove it all if they don't fuck it up by then it just kind of like it's gonna be like a big ass ball <sighs> but yeah that's what it looks like right now and the next little clip you'll see is gonna be it completely done okay so i think it's taken me two hours but i'm finally done so i fed them so they don't have to like be clean and then come in here and get this all stuck to them because all right so i don't have to like re-clean them so it's like bundled bunched up in a couple little areas which is why i didn't put enough in to like cover this part too because they'll be coming to the door and like you know moving it around but I'm pretty happy with the results. Are you happy with the results? Are you happy with the results? He's like, I went with those puppies, eh? <laughs> oh my god. So Eddie, Cuffle's boyfriend, is like the perfect puppy babysitter. Look at, oh my god. And that's little Freya, 